Well, hey everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I've been doing a pretty good series on Flat Earth Dave and his arguments with ChatGPT for the last couple of days. But I thought I'd kind of get back to my roots and do something I haven't done in a while, and that is an old-fashioned Flat Earth debunk. Fortunately, there's no shortage of material, and today's victim is Taboo Conspiracy. Let's see one of his We See Too Far images, and then just take a moment and show where he got it completely wrong, and it is an excellent Globe Earth proof. Today, I have more excellent evidence of our flat Earth. A big thanks to Dino from the channel Canal 104 Plus for sharing it. This flat Earth proof comes from this Italian article that has been translated to English. I'll have a link in the description. The photo, which has now gone viral, was taken just 10 days ago on April 30th, 2025. It's an awesome photograph of the sun setting directly behind the mountain Monviso, which is near the border of France. According to the article, the photo was taken from Pisa in Italy at an elevation of 400 meters or 1,312 feet. The distance between the photographer and Monviso was the distance of 296 kilometers or 184 miles. With an observation height of 1,312 feet and a distance of 184 miles, if we lived on a globe, the curvature of the Earth would block 12,987 feet or 3,958 meters. However, Monviso has an elevation of 12,602 feet, or 3,841 meters. That means the very top of Monviso should have been 385 feet below the curvature of the Earth. Look at this photo here. None of that mountain should have been visible if we lived on a globe. Flat Earth wins again. Well, it seems like a pretty straightforward claim. He did name some landmarks, and we can measure the distance between those landmarks. Let's see if it comes out to 296 kilometers. Well, not quite, but hey, pretty close. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt and do the 296 kilometers. Next, let's have a look at a proper Earth curve calculator and see what we should see on a globe Earth. This is Walter Bislin, and as you can see, we've got an observer height of 400 meters, which is what he claimed a distance of 296 kilometers, which is what he claimed, and a target size of 3840 uh, meters, which is what he claimed. Now, let's go ahead and see what we have. Well, according to this, 3,961 meters should be hidden, and that's about 120 meters more than the mountain height. So far, everything checks out, or does it? Because he seemed to have forgotten something. We're looking through an atmosphere, and an atmosphere has refraction. He deliberately put in zero refraction. Let's go see what happens when we put in standard refraction. Nothing special. 3,108 meters is hidden, and 732 meters is visible. In other words, the mountain is perfectly visible especially when silhouetted by the sun. But let's go ahead and have a look at his image directly from his video in Photoshop. I want you to notice that there's a peak of the mountain here, there is a rounded peak of the mountain here, and there appears to be a triangular peak way down here. Now these give us some very clear landmarks. So what we need to do is we need to get a picture taken of the mountain from the east. In other words, the eastern side of the mountain, the one that we're looking at from Pisa, but considerably closer. And as it turns out, we have one. Let's have a look at it. Now what I did was I lined up the peak, uh, the main peak, and this little rounded side peak. And as you can see, they line up very nicely. See that? So the scale is approximately correct here. Now you can't really see this little mountain over here. I think it's hidden in the horizon there. But as you can see, we're missing quite a bit of the bottom of that mountain. We're just seeing the very top of it, which goes right along with what we saw here with the advanced earth curve calculator. So once again, Ben, welcome to the globe Earth. 
Thanks for your very interesting Globe Earth demonstration. This is Bob the Science Guy. See you again soon.